many people, you know, especially on the hype beast community, can know what you do and know the works that you've put out. You've had your hand in many different things, but you say you don't we, make anything. We don't, we don't even make it. Let's start there. Yo, Rush, we're supposed to make it out into the Olympics, man! Take a deep breath. Describe this company. And just use a fragment of your imagination. From clothes to cars to lattes, fragment collaborations are everywhere. Despite not creating any of their own products, the simple double lightning bolt logo is one of the most in-demand signatures of all time, donning everything from Air Jordans to Starbucks cups to yachts. Hiroshi Fujiwara, the mastermind behind Fragment Design, has built up an impressive list of collaborations spanning across industries. This is how Fragment Design became one of the most sought after collaborators in the world. Not too many people did Montclair and Pokemon in the same month. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Behind the Hype. Fragment Design. In February 2021, Travis Scott was spotted wearing a pair of Air Jordan 1s featuring a design collaboration between his company, Cactus Jack, and the infamous Fragment Design. Later in the year, the duo would also release a line of apparel in collaboration with Cause. Scott joins a long list of Fragment collaborations, which includes Pokemon, Maserati, Montclair, Levi's, Beats by Dre, and Louis Vuitton, just to name a few. It may be easier to list brands that Fragment hasn't collaborated with. These exclusive Fragment collaborations are highly sought after and tend to have huge resale value. The Fragment and Jordan 1 Retros, the first collaboration between Jordan Brand and Fragment, was listed on StockX at $5,000 US dollars. Fragment isn't so much a physical brand as it is Fujiwara's personal signature. Fujiwara says that Fragment's purpose isn't creating any products, but rather putting their stamp on products from other companies. I'm not really partner, I just go there and they mix it. I get little percentages. The company is made up of just three people, including Fujiwara, keeping their output small and inherently exclusive. Fragment's signature logo, the double lightning bolt, is incorporated in all his designs. An ongoing collaboration with Pokemon combines the logo with Pikachu's recognizable Thunderbolts. Fujiwara says that the logo disrupts otherwise predictable designs, adding an unexpected element. Fujiwara's designs and insight have been essential in the development of modern streetwear. Designers like Virgil Abloh and Takashi Murakami have discussed Fujiwara's influence on streetwear and culture. Fragment itself was born from Fujiwara's passion for collaborations and streetwear. Often dubbed the godfather of streetwear, Fujiwara has been a cultural influencer for over four decades. Fujiwara initially drew much of his inspiration from his travels in the 1980s, experiencing the punk scene in London and hip-hop in New York. He was very involved in the Western music scene in Japan, becoming one of the first freelance DJs in the country. In the late 80s, Fujiwara started a column on fashion and culture trends from around the world called Last Orgy. He also turned this into a segment on public television. Harajuku street culture started to gain popularity, and he grew to be a point person for bringing Western imports to Japanese culture. In 1990, Fujiwara launched his own apparel label, Good Enough, pulling style reference from surf, BMX, and hip hop cultures. Fujiwara helmed his first collaboration, which wasn't common at the time, with Porter Yoshida to create bags especially for Good Enough. Rather than just putting good enough branding on the bags, the brands would work together on creating them. Toward the end of the 90s, Fujiwara chose to leave good enough in favor of working on a sole endeavor where he'd have more freedom. Expanding on his interest in collaborations, he founded Fragment Design. Fujiwara says he pulled the lightning bolt logo from one of his earlier companies, Electric Cottage, and found the name Fragment by looking through the dictionary. Fujiwara's connections and reputation built up throughout his career caused many brands to seek him out for designs. He has stated that he chooses brands to collaborate based on the people he will be working with. In 2010, Fragment began collaborating with Nike. Fujiwara had collaborated with Nike under other brands before, and those previous connections helped establish a long partnership between the two companies. Fragment's full list of collaborations is seemingly endless. Rizzoli New York has tracked them, filling two whole books and Fujiwara continues to add to the slate. In addition to his new collaborations with Travis Scott and Cause, he collaborated with Hypebeast in 2020 on the Stationaries collection, featuring apparel, a sleeping bag, notepads, an iPhone case, and even a pocket knife. 
Maserati invited Fujiwara to create special editions of two of their Ghibli models for a limited release in 2021. Fragment also brought designs from their car into a fashion collection, and Fujiwara worked with Yanmar to create three special edition yachts to be released in 2021. Fragment's name is fitting in many ways. Each collaboration is a small piece of Fujiwara himself, added to a familiar brand to break expectations. Fujiwara has pulled together fragments from punk, surf, hip-hop, and skating scenes to create his own unique style. Fragment isn't trying to become a permanent fixture with any company, but instead takes on small capacities to leave marks across industries. Fujiwara's embrace of various cultures and small details has made Fragment the leading innovator in what modern collaborations can look like. I do have a freedom, but I don't like freedom so much. You cannot use this fabric, or you cannot use this style, uh -huh. and I do what I can do best in this kind of small circle. Behind the Hype Fragment Design.